Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Ulm Gone Wild with my friend Arumba. Say hi, Arumba. Hey, how's it going, Chip? How you doing? It's pretty good. Are you excited about Tac Team today? I'm excited about Tac Team today. Because oh, today definitely. we're not going to quit, are we? We don't need to. <laughs> we're talking about getting access, right? So that we can move our armies and so that our ally, Bohemia, can also move his armies. Yeah. Um, when we declared, I don't think either of us noticed how many forts there were between Bohemia and our lands. There's a fort in Anschbach, a fort in Würzburg, and a fort in Oberfalz over here. So he can't actually walk over to us unless we give him some access somewhere. So that's what yep. we're doing. Yep, so I just got military access from Saxony and Mainz, and I was improving relations with Hess. Okay. Uh, so we actually have to wait until... The end of the month. Um, February 21st, we can get military access from them. Wow, 202 positive reasons, zero negative reasons. Yeah, he hates it. He hates... Oh. There you go. Wait. So Anjbach is now now going into the land of Saxony because you gave him access. Interesting. Good. And Bohemia is going after Oberfalls because I told them to go for that, but we actually don't want them to do that. Hopefully they'll redirect after we get um, military access through Hess. Oh, let me cancel oh. him. Never mind. He's going to just kill the army for us. Oh, I guess I cannot interact with the um, target province button. Interesting. At so all? or I can't even touch it. Neither can I. Oh, but you're the one who touched it first. Yeah, I can't untouch it. <laughs> All right, should we go? Should we go siege up the Palatinate since we want to piece him out early? We have a claim. Yeah, I mean it, that's his capital, so let's right. let's go work on that. Sounds uh, good. I think Mission? we should do this though. Rival, let's stop rival here. Savoy. Sounds good. We're keeping your little crap, General. He's, I, gonna... I, he's gonna be our siege guy. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna split the <laughs> army in half. Put him in charge of the secondary stack, and we're gonna say, you can come along and like stare at the walls and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and we need a military access through Hesse. Oh, 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 pause, 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 pause. Shoot. What? I was going to say, I know exactly where they're going. They're all going to to Pafaltz, and we can we can walk there. We should try to squish this army if we can. We'll be there on the 12th. We'll be there on the 10th. Yeah. I would, we'll be I was, the aggressor. I wish the space bar would work in multiplayer. Do it. Yeah, it's still worth a shot, though. His morale is so low. Yeah. Yeah, we would have had a, they would have had a negative two to all their rolls, but I still think we're going to squish them. Well, we just rolled a zero, which is fantastic. Come on, Johan, there you go. Here comes the Platinum again. Okay. And it uh, looks like Bohemia has decided to sit on the thing that we can't undo now. Why can't we so, undo that? I don't know. Our army's large enough, and we're two techs ahead of the Platinum, so I don't think he's going to come and try to prevent us from taking this. All right, still, let's go get faults then. I think um, we, we probably... Oh, nice. Again. Oh, good job, Bohemia. He's Again, being he's a boss. The yeah. So we're getting a little banner alert saying your war exhaustion is high. Do we want to pay that down a couple times just for funsies? If we have unrest in our provinces, uh, like in our core provinces, yes. If not, no. All uh, right. Like we have 13.7 in the one province we just took. Big deal. You know? Yep. Not a problem to me. Uh, what in the oh, world? Uh oh, Bavaria is sieging Anschbach. Yep, Bavaria has declared war on Anschbach. So we're not going to get Anschbach, Rumba. What happens if if he full annexes Anschbach? Because our war, our war doesn't get invalidated. Who no, becomes it, the war leader? Someone else becomes the leader. Probably the Palatinate. That stinks. That really stinks. I didn't we even notice truce. he had declared war. We have a truce with Bavaria until December of two years from now. Hmm. Well, we're gonna get we're gonna still gonna get a province out of it, and we're getting the core on Baden without unlawful territory. So, mm -hmm. Ansbach would have been a better pickup, probably eight development versus no, actually Heidelberg's ten. So I think fine. the main thing is that we're not gonna get our humiliation points on Ansbach. That's all. Well, we're at 77. Really, everything beyond 50 doesn't even matter. It just buys you more time that you're above 50. Like, it's not like the bonuses from being at 100 power projection are, like, so amazing that you have to have them. What is it, like, 5% morale of armies? Well, how about, in the meantime, we fabricate on Bavaria with the plans on going to war with him soon? Because he only has one ally. Yeah, um, probably, what, Regensburg? Regensburg, yeah. 
It's the only well, we border all three. We can go for all three. Oh, and right now there Bohemia, goes Heidelberg. Should Bohemia we peace out? Sure. Right now, Bohemia doesn't actually desire any of the land in Bavaria, which is nice. He can't because we do. All right. Yeah, pause. I, I, we probably want to peace out if he'll accept. But he's got another fort over there. So. Oh, you're right. He won't take it. Really? Uh, just one sec. We'll be back. 13 reasons to not accept. I will be back. Hey, well, that's sorry. unfortunate. Uh, they won't accept by 13 reasons. So we are going to have to siege that fort down. So well, hopefully, hopefully this war does not get invalidated when Anjbach falls. Well, I don't think it can just end. It's not like CK2. Well, it used to. Did it? I believe it did, um, but I know it doesn't anymore. I'm pretty sure what happens now is the war leader just changes. We don't have enough men for that fort, Shen. Um, what we can do is leave one dude there and put a check mark. The dude with the uh, siege pit. Okay. And at the very least, we can loot it. Yeah, we should probably get on. Oh, we do have enough man for it, by the way. Mm, no, it takes 9,000 troops. Oh, yeah, we have a 9 sack. Okay, it's just going to take time. Oh, we can't get to Bamberg? Do we not have access in Saxony? Um, we do, but all of those, all of that, that entire path connects through that fort in Wurzburg. Okay. So I guess we don't need the military access from Hesse anymore. Hmm. All right. Well, I've got the the one the one dude with the siege pip on a one stack. I'll just check mark that province, and then we can just move our main army off when Bohemia arrives. But that last fort's probably gonna have to fall before Bohemia will even come over. So wait, why are you keeping the majority of the army there? Oh, I was just doing it for looting, but there's no reason to. I mean, we're oh, almost gonna, we're almost at you, nine anyway. We can start the siege progress. Right, but if you're going to loot, you should do it in like Pafals so we don't suffer the attrition. Because if you're if you're suffering attrition, even if it's only one percent, then you're not actually making money on looting. Hmm. Okay. Because like the cost of reinforcement offsets the loot strength. So you're just spending manpower. Well, good news is July 10th of 40, of 66, we will have our core done in Baden. Okay. Yeah, Bavaria. Cheeky little sneaky bastard, isn't he? He saw what we were doing. Well, he may have declared the war way before we did, and we just were so focused on our goals that you think? didn't even notice. Maybe. Well, can we can we see when his war was started? Nope, there's no way to do that. I mean, we can see when our war started, convenient, but I think we talked about that last week, right? Yeah. All right, well, there goes the Platinum Army. If he gets crushed, I'm going to see if we can peace out again. Yeah, he's going to get crushed. Yep, goodbye, Platinum Army. Wurzburg is recruiting troops from Bamberg, though. Oh, another idea. Are you ready for um, reduced cost of war exhaustion? No. Okay. Because we're going to separate piece of planet. We need to... Let's see if he'll peace. He will. Okay. So if we just take his capital and nothing else, then he will. He might even give us some money, too. Yeah, he'll give us some money, too. Uh, wait a second. Let's do this battle. If you do it right now, we're going to get a uh, black flag. Okay. Good well, point. Actually, it'd be our territory, so we would be unblack flagged instantly, but still, might as well just win this battle. Okay. Actually, you can, you can do it now if you want. Yeah, I'm into it. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. So what do we so, want from him? We want one province. We want some ducats. No, we won't actually get any money. It'll go to Bohemia. Never mind. Yeah, don't take the money. Take war reps, uh, though. Yeah, war reps will go to us. I like how that still goes to the war leader. And maybe break his alliance with Austria. Oh, we can't. All right, that's fine. 
Would you rather annul his treaty? I mean, how much money is he actually going to pay us? Let's let's just go check real quick. Oh goodness, um, the math. Yeah, well, he's occupied, so it's hard to calculate. But um, what's his guesstimate. name? Estimate. The papal state. No, the platinum. He only makes two ducats a month. So, so we get ten percent like, of that. Okay. I don't think he's worth the war reps. All Probably right. better. He's he's an elector. Is he is he in favor of uh, Austria? He is. He supports the Austrian. So yeah, let's annul the treaty. Okay. Breaks his relationship with the emperor. Guarantee that Austria loses. Okay. He's gonna lose anyway, but yeah. Done. Okay, cool. Oh, good job. Good job, you. You did good job. Mm -hmm. And we can core that right now. Yeah. And Anjbach has been sieged. I'm glad we pieced out when we did, because Anjbach might have surrendered. Oh, shoot. Risberg does not go away, do they? No. So I'm, I'm concerned here that we're... Uh, that also focused uh, Bohemia on coming to assist our siege. Which is good. Mm-hmm. You say that, but Bohemia went to Bamberg first. <laughs> he'll get there eventually. Yeah, he'll get it. He, he hasn't marked that as special interest, so he'll probably uh, transfer it to us. I have no issue with Trier having access to you. No. What's interesting here is that because, because Bavaria declared his war, uh, he's still at war with the Platinate. So he's going to be sieging up the Platinate. That's going to take him some time. And uh, the Platinate's capital is now in fault, so he got a free you know, 1,000 garrison in Befaults. So it'll take him even longer to siege the Platinate. He may not be able to peace out for a while, which yeah, means we may finish both cores before the war's over. I'm I'm mostly sure that if he pieces out Ansbach and full annexes him, that we're going to gain... The war is just going to transition to Würzburg. We're going to be at war with Würzburg. We don't want anything from Würzburg, so we just wait until our cores are done, and then we... Yeah, that sounds good some, to me. What if money? he vassalizes Anschbach, though? Then we will be at war with Bavaria, and he will be at war with Bohemia. Yeah, I'm okay with stupid. that, too. Yeah, which, which is really good. him. Yep. Of course, we didn't have a truce. No, it won't matter. He's the war leader, so we wouldn't. he'd still be considered co-belligerent. Yeah, we would just take Ansbach off his hands. And we have a claim going on... Regensburg, yeah. Regensburg, so we would take those two. So how's our AE now after those two provinces? It's at 31, 32. It's not bad. Yeah, I am ready for war cabinet, are you? I mean, now it makes sense. Mm -hmm. No more separate pieces, so... Yeah, that I'm glad we didn't... us... Yeah. Gives us Guy production we... efficiency plus 10%. Zunft. Sounds good to me. I'm glad that we didn't buy down our war exhaustion before getting the 33% reduction. That would have been definitely a few comments in the comment section. <laughs> you idiots! Yeah. Well, we may not even buy it down at all. Like, we might just uh, wait wait this out. Peace did out. Did you not hire the Dipper Up guy? I thought you did. The, I did, you, did not. You expected me to, huh? I see. I'll do it. Done. I see how it is. <laughs> and you know what? We don't need to be at full maintenance right now. I think we should go down on maintenance and we should hire another advisor. Like, well, we're ahead on Miltech, so I guess we hire the admin advisor. Yeah. National unrest guy is good because there's a policy or a decision you can usually make. Either enact. that or inflation reduction. I'd go with the unrest guy. Yeah, inflation reduction seems like it's good, but if you think about it, let's say you have the guy hired for 10 years, you lose one inflation. Like, big deal. It's not even that great. All right, so we get Advancement of Religion Acts, but I don't want that because of the national unrest. Yeah, I don't think we need it yet. Once the Reformation starts, it's a great policy to have. Is it? For national unrest plus one? No way. Yeah, it is because. You have high tolerance of the truth of the faith, right? So yes, you gain unrest in your low tolerance, like your heathens uh, and, and uh, you know, like the wrong religion ones. But then, because of the missionary strength, you can convert them faster. And then, the higher tolerance of the true faith means that you end up having lower overall unrest. What you, the hell anyway, is Poland doing here? You, oh. you never have issues with Poland is killing Magdeburg's army. Awesome. There goes Bavaria's ally. Good. Yeah. But, like, you never have issues with unrest in your core provinces. Right? If they're same culture, accept culture, your religion, it's just never an issue. Yeah, it's really rare. And it's like particularist or something stupid. By the way, we had an event and we eased tension with Austria, so we have 60 increased opinion. Oh, really? So, so maybe? Still hostile. Yeah, but maybe if we improve relations with him a bit. I'll set him on friendly, I guess. 
they, I think they already are. But I'm gonna pull off of uh, Trier, I think it was. We're gonna improve with them for a moment. If we become a theocracy, we can't become the emperor, right? Correct. We're not really interested in being the emperor, so. Aren't we a republic right now? No, we're just a... Yeah, yeah we we're are. a republic. So yeah, we can't be emperor anyway. Yeah, Doesn't matter. Nothing, nothing changes there, right? Nothing changes. Oh wow, Poland's actually getting uh, a little bit sieged up by the Teutons. That's unexpected. Normally the Teutons yeah. just a walkover. Okay, our mission is for Savoy. I'm going to go back there. Oh, is it? I'm sorry. Yeah. I think I took it from there. That's fine. I didn't know we had a mission for it. We're almost done sieging Wurzburg. And I don't think we peace out. I think we nope. keep the war going, yeah. Yeah, we just wait on our core. Like, it's so annoying that unlawful territory is so bad that you have to resort to these sort of tactics to avoid it. Yeah, it'd be nice if there was some other tactic for it. Like, maybe pay a lump sum to the Emperor or spend some Monarch points or something, but this really is a little silly. Well, see, I would handle it a different way. I, I would just make it all automatic. Like, what we're doing is kind of exploity. We're exploiting the game mechanic to avoid a mechanic. Right. And, like, the AI won't take land, generally speaking, that they would just give back using an unlawful request. So it should just be an automatic modifier. If you take land that is not yours, then you should get just get unlawful territory. Always. Do you think it should be right different? Away. Do you think it should be different if you have a claim rather than not have versus not having a claim? Yeah, increase the modifier. You know, hmm. have two scales, two levels to it. Yeah, I think that'd be fine. Like, I don't know. I I just I, I feel like it's too easy to work work your way around. And I really and feel they, the. I really feel that the emperor should have some type of penalty for eating land the way he does, especially eating free cities. Like, what the hell, dude? Exactly. Yeah, the emperor should get it too. Like, why does the emperor not get unlawful territory? It's still the empire, right? Mm-hmm. The, the especially the electors. He should. Maybe he doesn't get the same modifier. Maybe he gets a modifier that only works on electors. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he gets an opinion malice with the electors for eating territory that he um, doesn't have a core on. I think there's a lot of a lot of room for improvement in many different areas, but yeah. the the, yeah. I, the idea that the empire is this is this thing where only the emperor is immune to you know that huge penalty is just silly. Yep. About the only time that the emperor usually will like lose the empire status, emperor status, is if he vassalizes people. Like if he accidentally vassalizes an elector, then he's screwed. But if he just eats the elector and then elects someone else, he's fine. Which is weird. Yeah. Like the other emperors should, other electors should still be looking at it like, hmm, <laughs> I'm not so sure about this guy. Maybe we should stop electing him. <laughs> it doesn't really happen though. Although this time we are a little lucky that they are choosing to elect Brandenburg instead. Do we know why they're doing that? Why are they voting Brandenburg? Probably because he ate some empire land, but let's see. Brandenburg's voting for himself. Bohemia, for some reason, is voting for Brandenburg. I wonder well, if... They rate Brandenburg 30 points ahead of Austria. Bohemia and Brandenburg both rival the Teutons. So they have plus 20 for enemy of enemy. So they have that. Um, Saxony is still supporting Austria. Saxony? No, it says, it says Brandenburg. Oh, sorry, not, not Saxony. I meant, uh, sorry, the Platinum. Yeah. Platinum. We, we annulled their alliance and they're still supporting Austria. Just barely, though. Mm -hmm. I wonder why they're I wonder why they're rating Austria above Anjbach. Since Anjbach is their ally, they should have Anjbach above. Don't you think? It doesn't even doesn't even matter. Anjbach's about to die. Yeah, but why are they why are they voting for someone who's not their ally instead of someone who is their ally? Austria's probably improved relations with them. Hmm. Or or vice versa. Yeah, works both ways. Yeah. Well, the core is almost done, and the siege is almost done. Yeah. I think that that was a, a good 10 favors well spent. Oh, hopefully yeah. We get, hopefully we get strong enough so that Bohemia will start generating one favor per year instead of one per two. It'd be really cool if we could form Swabia or Why? some other nation instead of just instead of just not having choices. 
You seem to really like forming nations, except oh, that when we played when we played Scotland, you didn't want to form Great Britain. No, that's just no, that's just wrong. You don't do that. Sure you do. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? Mr. Great Britain is not here. <laughs> we still haven't decided on our fifth ally. Oh, it's true, yeah. Um Brunswick's a choice. We could start looking for someone outside the Empire, hey. maybe. Oh. The states demand territory now. We have five provinces, Arumba. The states want territory. What do we do? <laughs> well, well, only two of them actually demand territory right now. I think the burgers should get anything that has trade bonuses, but we have no trade bonus land. Well, do doesn't having the burger control land also affect goods produced? Yes. Uh, no, it's not goods produced. It's mm, trade, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, it's just local trade power. There's another bonus, though, if they have lots of uh, extra stuff. I think it is goods produced. Okay. Trade. And annoyingly, it doesn't show it, what it would be if you had more loyalty or more influence or whatever the requirement is. Uh, I think we take the two new provinces and we give... Uh, do we have any forts yet? We have no forts. Nope. How do we have a fort? I don't know. Forts are silly. I'm okay, give... I'm okay with a fort in the capital, but anywhere else would be silly. So I want to, want to just give um, Heidelberg to the, to the burgers. It's got more more overall development. Kind of makes more sense maybe for trade power. I don't know. Well, it, when you're talking about trade power, where do you ultimately want to have our trade capital? Genoa or... English Channel. Okay, so it doesn't really matter what we give then. Uh, we give away then. You're not looking at having our final trade power either in Rhineland or Vienna, which is the only land we have. Right. Yeah. No, we gotta we gotta move to an end node. Yeah. You always you always do. All right. Well, then let's just yeah let's just give Heidelberg to the burgers. That's fine. That's still not enough. That's only nineteen percent. What? Yeah. How much do they want? They want twenty. I guess we got to do some development in Heidelberg. We We're can do a little development there, yeah. Uh, where, which we get to the military? Uh, probably Baden. Yeah, I was thinking Baden, yeah. It's not enough. They need 10%. <laughs> we can develop both Baden and Heidelberg. Let's try doing like one military development on each. There's Done. one. Okay. Did you, did you I, do it? I did Baden. Baden. Okay. We got to wait. It takes a day. Update, I think. No, it takes a month. Does it really a month? Yeah. All right. Well, well, we'll work on that like later, right? All right. So why don't we <laughs> call that an episode here? Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time where we'll peace out of this war. Our cores are done. We didn't get any, uh, what do you call it? The Imperial... Unlawful territory. Unlawful territory. Why do I keep thinking it's Imperial ban? We didn't get any unlawful territory penalty, which is fantastic. Our aggressive expansion is not so bad. And we have two claims ready for Bavaria whenever our truce is up, which is very soon. This year. Yep. Two months. We just, need, we just need five years of peace to get rid of our war stuff. Yeah, that, that. We can pay it down, though. All right. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. All right. See you soon.